All right, hello once again, Jeff Scott of Rankin Technical College. And as part of the Rankin Technical College AWD, or Application and Website Development Program, and in particular, the AWD 1111 .NET Framework with Web Databases class for the fall 2019 semester, I'm going through a series of video presentations based on the book that will be used for that class. The book is shown on screen as ProASP.NET MVC5 in a press text by Adam Freeman. I'm finishing up with chapter 22 of 27, and I'm on the bottom of page 640. This has been another one of those chapters that, to be fair, um, I've struggled with and have had some problems with. All right. The author says here, I have shown how to use metadata to shape the way that the templated helpers render data, but this is the MVC framework, so there are some advanced options that completely customize the templated helpers. Hopefully that will fix the problems we have. In the following sections, we will see how to supplement or replace the built-in support to create specific results. One of the easiest ways of customizing the templated helpers is to create a custom template. This allows the programmer to render exactly the HTML she or he wants for a model property. To demonstrate how this works, the author is going to create a custom template for the role property in the person class. The property is typed to be a value from the role enumeration, but the way that this is rendered by, the, by default is problematic because the templated helpers just create a regular input element that allows the user to enter any value they want. The MVC framework looks for the for custom order templates in the views shared editor templates folder. So we must go in and create that folder. We under views, there's shared. So inside of shared, we have to add yet another folder here. That folder will be called editor templates. All right. So we're going to come in there and create a view, add view. All right, the view will be called role. I'm just going to leave everything empty. <clears throat> they want it strongly typed, so I would think you'd want it with a model. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it just empty without model, just like that. All right. Then we're going to add or remove what's there and put in here what's shown on the top part of the, just these few lines that are here near the top part of page 641. All right. And the author says here on 641, the model type for this view is the role enumeration. We have used the HTML dot drop down list helper method to create a select option with elements that are in there. All right. This is shown in the book right here, down towards, towards the middle of page 641. And underneath that, uh, the understanding the template order which is on the bottom of 641 and going on to the top of 642. The author says the role.cshtml template works because the MVC framework looks for custom templates for a given C sharp type before it looks at the built in templates. In fact, there is a specific sequence the MVC framework follows. Number one, the template is passed to the helper. Number two, any template specified by metadata attributes. such as UI hint. Number three, the template associated with the data, any data type specified by the metadata. Number four, any template that corresponds to the .NET class name of the data type being processed. Number five, the built-in string template. Number six, any template that corresponds to base classes. Number seven, 
If the data type implements I enumerable, then the built-in collection template. Number eight, if all else fails, the object template will be used. Some of these steps rely on the built-in templates described earlier. At each stage in the template search process, the MVC framework looks for a template called editor templates slash, and then whatever the name is for editor helper methods or display templates slash name for display helper methods. All right, the chapter pretty much is going to end here with the author creating a generic template, which is done here on the bottom half of page 642 and then utilized on 643 and 644. So the author says here, I am not limited to creating template specific, I'm sorry, type specific templates. For example, we can create a template that works for all enumerations and then specify that this template be selected using the UI hint attribute. If you look at the template search sequence, we'll see that the templates specified using UI hint take precedence over type specific ones. To demonstrate this, the author has created a new view in the view shared editor templates folder. And that new view is called enum.cshtml. The actual code for that is shown here toward the middle of page 642. little hard to read so I'm trying to play with the code a little bit so it looks a little nicer to the naked eye I don't know if I succeeded or not the model type for this template is enum which allows the programmer to work with any enumeration the author has used some link to generate the strings that are required to create the select and option elements although this is not required we can then apply the UI hint attribute. The example project defines a metadata buddy class, so the author has applied the attribute to the person metadata, shown on page 643. So I can go up to the person metadata, and it is way down near the bottom after the is approved. Clean this up just a tad. All right, so under this, we are adding UI hint enum. Public role. Oh, crapers. public role role get sets all right and I'm getting another error which doesn't help much but the idea by doing this is again in an ideal world what we would have gotten here would have been this All right. And the author mentions, you can see the flexibility that custom templates offer, even if the example isn't especially useful. So in this chapter, the author has shown the system of model templates that are accessible through the templated view helper methods. In the next chapter that we've got coming up, chapter 23 will be on URL and AJAX helper methods. My hope is that the author creates a new project in here because, as you've seen, I've got errors 
with the current project. So that's not helping anyone. All right. But I'll come back with Chapter 23, URL and Ajax Helper Methods momentarily. <laughs>